to you and a warm welcome to Racing News. We start the week on a very sad note. The news received this morning that the great Ginger McCain, trainer of Red Rum, three times the winner of the Grand National, has died aged 80 after a short illness. How great it was that after Red Rum, Ginger was to go and win the great race one more time with Amberley House in 2004. In a statement from his wife Beryl this morning, she says that Donald, Ginger, as we all knew him, passed away peacefully in his sleep after a short illness this morning. He would have been 81 on Wednesday. There will be a private family funeral, followed by a later memorial service, for which there will be more information in the coming weeks. Joanne, Donald Jr and I appreciate all the kindness we are being shown and at this difficult time would appreciate it if we were afforded some privacy. Well, of course, uh, Red Rum provided one of uh, or three of our greatest memories of National Hunt Racing. And, of course, the, the backdrop to his and Ginger McCain's successes were very much the commentaries, the legendary commentaries of uh, Sir Peter O'Sullivan, who joins us now to pay tribute to Ginger. Good morning to you, Sir Peter. Very sad news this morning. It is, John, indeed. But, uh, I mean, mercifully, uh, Ginger had a great, great life and he, 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 got, he got the most out of it and uh, he, he had a fair innings. I mean, I'm one to talk, but he, he, had, he had a good innings, didn't he? He did absolutely fantastic. And, of course, they were, they were golden days. The horse red rum and what he achieved on the track for Ginger, um, uh, Sir Peter, defining times for Ginger as a trainer and, dare I say, for you as a race commentator as well. We yes, well, and it, it was it was an, an, an enormous pleasure and privilege, of course, to to call him home. He was uh, he was a little bit of a freak, uh, and, and, and and he, he was an, an amazing horse around Aintree. And when you when you think uh, five what five nationals he competed in for three three firsts and two seconds, but pretty amazing, really. When I think of Ginger, I think of his very simple uh, quote about the Grand National. He he often described it as stone cold magic, a very simple expression of of the um, the emotion and the depth that, to which he he viewed the National. And uh, marketing men everywhere, I suppose, struggle to replicate that sort of heartfelt feeling for a race. Yes, yes, he he uh, he, he was a splendid man. And again, a great, 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 and great enthusiast, a great enthusiast uh, for the race, and it, it it was lovely actually. He was able to train uh, another national winner in Ambley House because uh, it, um, it it at least d d diluted that uh, um, slight uh, stigma that he was just a one-horse trainer, you know. But uh, he, he, he was he was a most entertaining character, and of course he and he and, he and Beryl, they, they bred an extremely good trainer as well. And uh, it, 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 was, uh, it was great that uh, uh, McCain Jr., as he, as he was in, in Red Rum's days, um, was, was able to train, and train the winner and maintain family tradition in, uh, in, in, in the latest renewal. Yeah. Sir Peter, always great to hear from you. Um, shame it's an occasion to talk to you today, but thank you very much for your time. Bless you. Bye, John. Well, the next man to pay tribute to the great Ginger McCain, the great late Ginger McCain, who died this morning, is Richard Pittman. Richard, of course, unforgettably rode crisp to be second to, uh, to Red Rum back in 1973. Good morning to you, Richard. Thanks for joining us. Hi, John. Yes, road is a bit debatable if you talk to a lot of punters. But anyway, there we go. Mm. Um, he was such a marvellous man. I mean, legends used quite widely, but he was a legend, and he was bigger than life. I, I mean, I just thought the world of him as... Everybody did, but lucky enough, John, to know him as a friend uh, right from the very early days. You know, he, I used to go up on the Southport Sands uh, w with him when he was uh, exercising the horses there from the cab of his, his Land Rover. You know, it was a most amazing thing. He took the old horn once for faster and twice for faster even still. You know, it was a great experience. Mm. You knew him, obviously, th through, through your riding days, Richard. I mean, that was an unforgettable race, wasn't it? I know you came off the wrong side of it with Chris, but even much later on in life, Richard, you as a broadcaster, Ginger still as a, a successful trainer, um, you, you must have kept tabs with him professionally, well, right up until his death. 
Yes, he he was abusing me right until recently. Yeah, I mean, he like the more he abused you, John, the better he liked you, <laughs> and he was so politically incorrect. It was marvelous, you know, the things he said. But he did it for reaction, and by golly, didn't he get some reaction? But always a marvelous man to be with. You couldn't fail to enjoy yourself in his company. I, I just thought the world of him. Um, it, it, but to have done what he's done. It was great that Amberley House would, would then go and make his fourth win because there were so many people who thought he was a one-horse man. And, of course, he wasn't. Mm. And, of course, bringing things up to, right up to date, Richard, how lovely that Ginger did live uh, long enough to see Donald win the race as well. Oh, absolutely. I, I had a drink in the um, w winning owner's room at Aintree with him. He was sitting there after uh, the race and he was sitting down there and just his face was just... Absolutely rosy with content. Now, how many of us in life can be content? He wasn't just happy and shouting. He was sitting there with a big silly grin on his face, with a glass of champagne in his hand, and Beryl saying, have you taken your pills, Ginger? <laughs> no, he said. Well, you're going to take them now. You know, Beryl has been a staunch wife and supporter of him and has kept him on the straight and narrow as much as you could do. But to see him there basking in, in, in his son's glory, he... What more could anyone ask? It was just so fitting. Nice way to remember him, Richard, with that big, silly grin. I like that. Yeah, and, and John, do you know what I hope they'll do? I don't know if it, it's possible these days, and I, I don't know whether he's going to be buried or cremated, but if he were to be cremated, wouldn't it be great to, to see his ashes put with Red Rum, who's buried on the winning post of Daintree, standing up? Room for Ginger and, and Red Rum there standing up, but if he is cremated, I'll bet they scatter his ashes there. Well, I'm, I'm sure they'll be thinking of that sort of thing, Richard. Thank you ever so much for joining us and sharing some great memories, Richard. It's sad, John, but I'm, I'm happy for having known him. Well, now let's hear from another Aintree legend, Josh Gifford, of course, unforgettably trained Old and Easy to win the Grand National just a few years after the, the Red Rum era as well. So highly appropriate we hear from Josh as well on this, uh, on this sad morning. Uh, Ginger will be fondly remembered, I'm sure, with you, Josh. Oh, absolutely, yes. I mean, it's very, very sad, but there we are. It's got to happen to all of us, but uh, Ginger was a great character. Um, and, you know, he, he was, was Mr. Aintree, wasn't he? You say, I was a legend, I wasn't in his class. <laughs> but, uh, no, I mean, he was Mr. Grand National. Mm. That, that was it. We, we I don't... was just thinking, actually, you know, it's going to give... Those old boys up there, the real characters like Dave Dick and Fred Winter and Ryan Price, they'd need somebody up there to stoke them up, wouldn't they? <laughs> Just to liven things up a little bit. So. Yeah, well, they must be running out of conversation and uh, no doubt Ginger will have plenty to tell them. Mm. Josh, you've been involved with horses all your, all your life and Sir Peter O'Sullivan was telling us that, you know, Red Rum wasn't necessarily the easiest to handle. Um, we know all about Ginger or a lot about Ginger as a character. What, what about as the professional racing trainer? Well, I wouldn't know much about that, really. But I think that, uh, you know, probably Red Rum wouldn't have been Red Rum if Ginger hadn't have been training on the sand because he didn't have the best of feet. And, you know, and just training him on the, on the sand and in the seawater um, made the horse and basically made Ginger. Yeah. And we were lucky, you know, you with Alden Eatsy, one of the great, the great entry stories, and... And he with, with Red Rum. It was a golden time for the race, really. Yes, it was. Yes, well, uh, you know, that is the national, isn't it? There's a story um, nearly every year, isn't there? You know, whatever wins it, there seems to be a story, whether it's a family or... Well, I'm sad, sadly, it won't be Ginger anymore, but there you are. Donald's done well. He's won it as well. Yeah. Well, well Josh, it's um, a great pleasure to speak Entry greats uh, on a sad day. Thank you very much indeed for your time. No, my pleasure, and um, you know, sorry to have to speak to you on a sad day like this. Tributes there from Josh Gifford, from Richard Pittman, and of course Sir Peter O'Sullivan. With me live here in the studio uh, for racing news today is Jason Weaver. Who, your game, Jason, was very much flat racing, but the, the death of Ginger McCain will resonate throughout the whole racing family, won't oh, it? Oh, absolutely for sure, John. And you know, uh, a lot of people will say it, um, but we've lost one of the great characters of the game. Not only, obviously, tremendously talented, all about how the the, the great horse had been through so many talented trainers' hands before he ended. Up 
up with ginger. Um, very brittle feet, but it's down to being the, 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 the sea salt and sand, all that mixture and everything else. And, um, you know, the, 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 the legend will live on forever, but lost one of the true characters. That's, mm. a, that's a big blow. Yeah, and his son Donald, of course, is a, a man you knew years ago. Yes, as a as a virtually a pupil assistant at Luca Comani. Yeah, there. that's very true. I remember him, and um, do you know what? I don't think he's changed uh, an absolute dot. Mm. Um, you know, and that'd be very in very much in the mould of his father. He was a lot of fun when he was at Luca's, and if I bump into him now, he's exactly the same. Yeah, well.